Good evening and welcome to the news our agenda. I'm Madhavdas Gopal Krishna. The fury over the Kolkata rape and murder has engulfed the state of West Bengal a day after police action against student protesters during a march towards Bengal Secretariat. Nabanna, the BJP observed a 12-hour band from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. today. During the statewide bun, multiple trains and metro stations were blocked. Some bus drivers were even seen wearing helmets, fearing violence amidst the bun. Sporadic violence was also witnessed in some parts of the state where the BJP and TMC workers clashed with each other. A BJP leader also claimed that TMC workers attacked his car in Bhatpara area of the North 24 Paraganas district. He alleged that bombs were hurled and six to seven rounds of bullets were fired on his vehicle. Amidst the mayhem, 19 days after the Kolkata rape and murder horror, Mamta Banerjee said sorry. She did so in a post on social media platform X, in which she also dedicated the Foundation Day of TMC Student Swing to the 31-year-old victim doctor. Later speaking at a Foundation Day event, Mamta said that she would bring in a bill that provides for capital punishment for rape. And if the governor refuses to give his assent, the TMC would protest in front of the Raj Bhavan. Mamta went on to issue a warning to Prime Minister Modi saying that if Bengal burns, the fire would spread to northeast and will even topple the chair in Delhi. Modi Babu, apnar party ke diye agun lagachen. Mone lagben. Banglai jodi agun lagan. Asamo theme thakbe na. North East theme thakbe na. Uttar Pradesh theme thakbe na. Bihar theme thakbe na. Jharkhand theme thakbe na. Orissa theme thakbe na. President Draupadi Murmu also issued her first statement on the Kolkata incident. She said that she was dismayed and horrified with what had happened and called for honest self-introspection in the wake of rising crimes against women. BJP, meanwhile, upped the ante against Mamta Banerjee, intensifying their demand for her resignation. Bengal BJP chief... Shukanta Majumdar wrote to Union Home Minister Amit Shah, claiming that the Chief Minister incited the gathering at the TMC event in Kolkata. Seeking the centre's intervention, Sukanta accused Mamta of blatantly endorsing revenge politics. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Sharma also hit out at the Bengal Chief Minister, referring to Mamta's speech wherein she says that fire in Bengal will not remain restricted to the state and will spread to other states, Himanta said, how dare Didi threaten Assam? The Chief Minister of my state is talking about the toppling of the northeast of this country. I would like to request the central agencies, those are concerned about the internal security of this country as well as the external security of the country, to keep a close look on Mamta Banerjee. Because it is if what he has said is true that it is really, I think, is of great concern that Mamta Banerjee will topple the northeastern state that will be the threat to the internal security of this country. You're watching the News Hour at 10, debate number one on Times Now, Super Prime Time. Let's take this across to our guests. Uh, in fact, joining us at the moment, we have Shatrupa, who's spokesperson of the BJP. Dr. Anand Ragnathan, author, is with us. Dr. Riju Datta, is national spokesperson of TMC. Anirban Banerjee, political analyst, is with us. We also have Tehseen Purawala, political analyst, and Vivek Srivastava, political analyst, also joins us on the broadcast. Uh, Dr. Riju Datta, let me just take you first and foremost to the most important talking point, the comments of West Bengal Chief Minister, where he said that... Uh, you know, the, the fire that has been lit in West Bengal that will not be easy to stop in Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, the Northeast, and Delhi. What is this statement said at a time like this? Isn't it the job of the Chief Minister, of responsible leaders, to be sending out a calming message? There are protesters who are incensed about, you know, whether they are political or not is a separate debate altogether. The fact is that there is a gruesome crime that's happened. Why, you know, take the rhetoric several notches up? Look, Madhav, uh, the gruesome crime that happened in Kolkata, unfortunately, gruesome crimes like that are happening all over this country. 
Even today, a minor girl was gang raped uh, in UP who committed suicide. So, you know, it, it is a crime and that is what Mamta Banerjee said that we are going to pass a bill in the legislation that anybody convicted you, of rape will deserve capital punishment. Just one and second. And even uh, my leader Abhishek, just I, one I, second, can, I, can I make my point? No, no, you please, make your yeah. point. I am just yeah. saying this, the difference is this, Reju. Yeah. That there are absolutely, there are crimes happening across the country. There's no doubt. The rape statistics are there, the NCRB statistics are there. You have to admit that the allegations of cover-up and going slow from Kolkata police to the hospital to the various agencies, all of these are what are raising questions. And if government is not going to be held accountable, if people in democracy cannot yeah, demonstrate but... and protest, then what are we talking about? Please protest, but you have to understand, if you are protesting for justice for the victim, we, Trinomul Congress is with you. If you are protesting to uh, demanding capital punishment for the culprit, we are with you. But if you are using this horrific crime that has been committed and using it as a platform for political relevancy, political mileage or vulture politics, then we have to reply you back in your same coin. You have to understand that. If you are protest, protest. It's a democratic and a constitutional right. Nothing has happened in the last 15 days there have been protests on streets of Calcutta. Why it happened day before yesterday when BJP had to do this nonsense? BJP is a party of chapris and gundas. No, and no, they only want this. They want anarchy in the state of Let's not get into this Gali vote. I'm saying is, we will not permit that. No, no, it's okay. You still no, no, use no, one adjective. No, no, I'm not giving Gali's adjective. And then the debate will degenerate. Did you have been down this road many times before. I'm requesting you. Let's temper our language, please. It's a request, please. I am only going to say the fact. No, no, you, you it, will call it, them, you they, will call them I, one I adjective, call they will call you back the same adjective. What to do? Now, you, that is your perception of fact, they will have a different perception of fact. I Let's not go down that road, I'm requesting now, you. Come. Yeah, okay. I am coming to the statement made by Mamtha Banerjee now. The initial question that you asked me. After all these days, when 15 days, CBI cannot say anything in the court, CBI cannot prove anything in the court, nothing is, has come out in the open. On the 5th of September, the status report will be discussed in the Supreme Court and we'll all come to know. All of a sudden, the Mamta Banerjee spoke on stage for the people, for the people of Bengal. The tigress started roaring and all the BJP top leaders started trembling, uh, shaking in their knees and started crying. Why? She, what she said? She never said that we will start burning Assam and Northeast. No, she did not. What she said? She said, if you try to burn Bengal, there will be protests in Assam, in Bihar, in the Northeast, everywhere. And if you try to burn Bengal, Narendra Modi, we will topple your chair. That's what she said. Shatrupa, would you like to respond BJ, to that? That was this protest that BJP did. Okay, 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 okay. you've made your point. I want Shatrupa to respond to you now. All he said is that the protest will be there in other states. Is that what Mamta said factually? Please respond to no. it. No, no, no. Uh, Riju, as usual, has taken the whole thing out of perspective. Firstly, there is no question of anybody burning Bengal. But one has to understand, just like before 2011, Mahmoud Abanaji screamed and raged and you know, brought Bengal to a stop and came to uh, the power. She was an elected opposition and she kept on demanding the uh, resignation of the chief minister. Similarly, today... We have the mandate of the people. We are the single largest opposition party. And I am sure, Madhav, you will agree, and I am sure Riju will also agree, that the opposition of uh, the, the single largest opposition has not been created by 2 crore 30 lakh people to sing praises of Mamata Banerjee. Why? We are not opposing for the sake of opposition. It is our moral duty to our voters, to the people who have voted us to power, uh, to, uh, to the opposition in the Vidhan Sabha that we are supposed to point out all wrongdoings of the Mamta government. Mm. And this is not just one incident, Mother. Constantly, Trinamool is denouncing this one incident as a rape, which keeps happening all over the country and happens everywhere. As a woman, let me reiterate, atrocities and rape and different kinds of torture on women have been happening in the country, in the world, from time immemorial. But what are we pointing out here is the attitude of the people of the, at the helm of affairs. Yes, even today, probably while I'm talking, some woman somewhere is being raped. I am not justifying that. What we are trying to say is what is the government doing? Here you have a government who is into blame game. 
CBI is to be blamed, so and so is to be blamed. Here you have the police commissioner who is who has a police minister for 13 consecutive years. He throws up his hands and says, Well, we don't have enough resources to tackle a crowd of uh, 7,000. They can come and do a rampage. 40 minutes, we will go and hide in the bathroom. So this kind of police minister has no moral right to stay. Here you have a health minister for 13 consecutive years who has done nothing except painted the walls and the gates blue and white. Nothing has been done for the state hospitals and the, I'm sure the doctors will uh, hear me out. You all know the situation in no, and, medical you know, health. And I want to ask Riju a simple question. Riju, we know, and you know, this has come up in debates before, Mamta Banerjee rose to power with a series of uh, protests that she had taking place right from the mid-90s up till Anandigram, Shingur. Those protests weren't exactly peaceful either, sir. So why suddenly have a different yardstick now that you're in government? I'm not justifying violence in any which way. But I'm just saying Neither that am it, I. it, it am just I. sounds, the Mother, BJP has said Mother, this earlier, that it sounds a bit rich coming from Ma Mamta Banerjee. To answer your question, I have one, one question and I need a yes or no answer from Chaturupadi. Shatrupadi and Madhav both, the question to both of you, is it a fact or not that the leader of opposition of Bengal, Shubendu Odhikari, before this alleged student protest in front of the media said, if Mamata Banerjee will not resign by Monday, bullets will be fired on Tuesday. Yes or no, Madhav? Yes or no, Shatrupadi? So when the leader of opposition makes comments like that, in a sensitive time like this, then not correct, say, not I, responsible. I have absolutely yes no, no. I have absolutely no, I have absolutely no hesitation that saying that if he has made a comment like that, it's absolutely unacceptable. Chatrupa, would you like to respond to Reju? If, if the, uh, if the leader of opposition has said something like this, and that has sh sent shivers down uh, the spine of Mamata Banerjee and the Trinamool government, I would say that the opposition is doing a good job in scaring the people at, at the power. No, no, let's not I justify, let's not justify violent threats. Let's not justify I'm, violent threats. No, I, I but Rizu, Rizu, the point being made is this. The point being made is that in a democracy, people do protest. And let me open this yes. up and take it across to other guests as well. Dr. Anand Ranathan, what would you like to say to Riju Datta, who says that protest is okay, don't turn violent. I partially agree with him over there, but the point is there are people who are very incensed. Can we just say that all these protesters, everything is political, that there are no doctors, there are no students. Is that a correct position to take, Dr. Nathan? Uh, good evening, Madhav. Good evening to my fellow panelists. I have a couple of points to make. While in the east of Bengal, the protesters have turned democracy into dictatorship, in the west of Bengal, the protesters are turning dictatorship into democracy. This is the power of democracy where the doctors have downed their scalpels and come out and protested about what has happened to one of theirs. And I take severe objection to my good friend Riju Datta saying that, look, rapes happen everywhere. Just today also rape has happened. It is not about heinous sexual offenses happening everywhere. In India, every year, 35,000 rapes happen. Each one of them is as horrific and condemnable as the next. But as you rightly put it, Madhav, it's not about the offenses. It's about the cover-up. So today, the headline should not have been what Mamata has said. The headline should have been what the president has said. The president of the Republic of India is heartbroken. The governor of Bengal is heartbroken. I want to ask not the Bengal government, but the central government. Do the voices of the president of India the governor of India mean anything to you, sir? That's number one. And number two, about the police that has been, yes, rightfully armed with the instruments that prevent mob violence, for example, water cannons, tear gas, rubber bullets, firing. I want to ask the same police that has exercised their right yesterday. Where were they? Where were these instruments of water cannon, of, uh, uh, you know, of uh, rubber bullets of all these instruments that have been provided by the state to the police, tear gas, where were they on the morning of 15th of August when a 7,000 strong mob that I'm sure Riju Datta will not call chapris and gundas because they might be belonging to the TMC, when that 7,000 strong mob yeah. passed into let's, the RG car medical college, let's, where let's, was the police let's, then, let's our language. This is what I said to him also and Dr. Ragnathan. Let's, let's keep our language a little. I, I can understand. It's a very emotive issue. 
uh, I can understand, but I'm just requesting all of you, let's not take the debate down that road because then it will just spiral out of control. But let me bring in Anirban on that note. Anirban, you know, it's wrong to just go out and say that everyone's a, you know, political, uh, you know, protester. That, of course, there are instances where there has been stone pelting. It's all been captured on camera. There are instances where cops have been attacked. But the point is, people are bubbling over in anger. And we have seen protests on the streets of Delhi when Nirbhaya happened. It's a similar moment that's happened in Kolkata. Somewhere, there is a failure to recognize. Yes, Mamta Banerjee said sorry. And then the same day, she comes out and makes these statements about the fire spreading to other states. The point is that there has to be some amount of responsibility with the state government also. Law and order is a state subject. And there are questions about its handling in the initial days. So, should I consider that the CBI is also under the state government? No, no, please, please question the, the CBI. No problem, yes, sir. No problem. Please question them. One of your questions are valid. So, is it the duty of only the Trinamool Congress or the people who support the Trinamool Congress to question the CBI on this? Uh, when this particular incident occurred and after the days uh, were passed, uh, passing, uh, you were questioning the Kolkata police, and rightly so. You should question the Kolkata police, you should question the state government, you should question the doctors or the hospitals. I have no problems, absolutely no problems with that. But 14 days, mother, two weeks have passed by. What is the exact progress by the CBI? The Kolkata Police Commissioner used to hold regular press conferences to answer your questions, to update the public in general about the investigation that was going on. Two weeks, not a single question asked of the CBI, not a single answer given by the CBI. Nobody bothers about what the CBI is doing. Has Dr. Shundip Ghosh been employed by the CBI? He goes to the CBI office in the morning, comes back home at night. So is he an employee of the CBI right now? Have we no right to question the CBI about the progress of the investigation? Sir, uh, please all do. the allegations, let please us consider do. all please the do, allegations. Please do, but neither, but questioning the CBI does not take no, away from let, the comments of Mamta Banerjee or Just the actions line. of the police on the streets of Kolkata either. Just one line. Right, right, just one line. Uh, let us consider for a moment that all the allegations of cover-up, etc., etc., are true. So, who is supposed to prove those allegations in a trial court? Ma it is the CBI. Ma Have they come out with a single statement saying Ma that, Ma yes, these allegations are true? These are the points that we have found out through our investigation. Well, please, to the I best of my knowledge, here, and you know, having seconds. covered these agencies, I can tell you, uh, Nirvan, that the CBI and state police function very differently. But yes, Dr. Ragnathan. Dr. Ragnathan, please respond to Anirban. Mother, very briefly, my good friend Anibar, what is Dada saying? The Council of Bengal, Kapil Sibal agreed that the FIR was lodged after 11 hours. What is he talking about? Is it true or is it false? He should accuse Mr. Sir, Kapil Sibal you, of lying you there. Must have, after 10, uh, Dada, sir, you must have I missed a few please. points. Dada, I did not interrupt you. Please, Anand, please don't interrupt uh, me. Dada, please, please. Uh, 10 uh, hours after autopsy, the father was the first respondent. This is the calamity that is happening. These are facts, Madhav. Am I, are you, am I concocting them? Please no, no, tell absolutely. Me. The crime scene, there are questions on the crime scene, Anirban. The questions that please why was the crime scene allow secured after the post-mortem, about please 14 hours after the actual crime took place, or perhaps even longer. There are questions about the manner in which the uh, please, please, administration please, please, reacted, please the principal and please the staff please. reacted. Misinforming of the family as to what okay. exactly had okay. transpired. Okay. There are very Let's many questions that have come in from the Supreme Court as well, Anirban. Right. Right. Who's going to right. answer right. that? Please, the truth. please, question please, 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 please answer these questions also. Please, please allow me to respond. Please, please allow me to respond. The State Council, Mr. Kapil Sibbal, answered all the questions of the court. Please go through the entire transcript of the day. I will not make any comments about it. Anybody who goes through the entire transcript of that particular yeah, hearing will have point. all the answers. The no, state sir. council yes. answered sir, each Sir, on the fifth, the Kolkata police officer has been called to answer the questions because the answers received by the bench, the bench found unsuitable. And let me yes. bring in, let me bring in, in fact, uh, Tessin on that. Tessin, you know, no, were all the questions no, answered? Justice Manoj Mishra. Justice Manoj Mishra, please read his statement. Tessin, yeah, would you like to refresh uh, the memory of Anirban? Because Anirban here says that uh, there were no such questions. They were all answered by the lawyers of the West Bengal government. Please respond. Finally, mother, finally I get a word in. Please, may I just have a couple of points? 
Let me begin by saying, and I absolutely agree that the Kolkata police has completely mishandled this, completely perception-wise and every other way. The right to protest is a fundamental right enshrined under Article 19. And it doesn't matter if BJP protests. BJP is a legitimate political party in India. They have an absolute right to protest. There is no if and but out here. I stand by the BJP's right to protest. Now let me ask you, the own visuals shown on Times now, I was a part of it yesterday. I don't know the visual study. I'm not in front of a TV. Show cars being burnt. Is this peaceful protest? Devashish Chakraborty, a police lost his eyesight because of bricks thrown by people carrying BJP flags or other flags from their associated uh, organizations. Is that a legitimate right to protest? Stopping of trains. Is that a legitimate right to protest? I'm asking you this. Nobody has a problem with doctors and students protesting. They should. The Kolkata police have completely screwed up the case for lack of another word. Yeah, no, let's, 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 let's but temper our language. Are you please, allowed to break the eyes of police officers? Please. Now, let me ask it's, you a second question. Tessie, I mean, temper I can understand the outrage, but please. Language. Let's, you know, this is not acceptable absolutely. language at I'm all or not. And I am apologizing to the viewers and I would request you to do the same. Okay, completely destroyed the case. Destroyed the case. Now let me come up with a second word. Let me come up with a second part out here. The only person arrested in this case so far is by the Kolkata police. The same police that has goofed up the case. I won't use the word that I won't use the word about nails and screws. I'm saying they they goofed, uh, they goofed up, but he's still arrested the accused. CBI says he's the accused. There is no other accused as per CBI so far. Has CBI come out with one clarification? One clarification. Has CBI solved, which is, come on, I never Doctor interrupt Anadhi. anybody, Madhav, this is not how I do debates. You yeah, know my debates. You know, Tessie, Tessie, you there's to, there's to be some decency, to there's to be some you know decency in the way we debate. Know. I've started this debate by telling Dr. Riju Dutta and Dr. Ragnathan to temper their I'm language. Very decent. And I, I think this is, this is really crossing the line now. We have I'm to be, you are, no, no, you have to, no, no, we, we have a responsibility also for okay. keeping our rhetoric a little safe. We're talking about sending out calm messages, not talking about spreading violence of the netas. We're discussing all that in the middle of this, we make such irresponsible. Mother, this is absolutely mother. incorrect. This is absolutely incorrect. It's not acceptable. Okay. I, and I, I, and this, is, this is really not acceptable. We okay. don't have this on my show ever. And I will tell you also to maintain that dignity. But since you've asked questions repeatedly of the CBI, I want Shatrupa to come in now. Shatrupa, is the CBI an agency that has not failed to establish its case? Of course, there are questions of Kolkata police. But why don't we know several weeks after the CBI has taken over the case what exactly has transpired? That's a question coming in from opposition from the TMC repeatedly. Madam, that's a question coming from BJP also, because uh, we, I am not a uh, CBI spokesperson, but we are equally concerned. We are also equally anxious to know where this inquiry is leading. And like Riju said, from the Ghosh keeps on coming and going from the CBI some nine or 10 days or 12 days. And we actually haven't seen very much. So BJP is equally concerned. BJP West Bengal is equally concerned. We also want to know. Where is this inquiry heading? What are they doing? Exactly how many hours is he actually being questioned or is he just sitting around? Uh, we don't know. We are also equally in the dark. But as far as uh, the, the sin is concerned, he raised a few uh, statements. I don't know based on what. Yes, I personally, and I'm sure my party, I, I mean, I know my party, also, we denounce violence. There is no question of anything being violent as far as our agitation is concerned. Mother, you are probably aware Five days, we had a continuous uh, agitation and demonstration from a particular stage in Shambhaza. And it was all very peaceful. We uh, you know, sang songs, there were chantings, there were, uh, uh, we, we spoke about the issue. There, were, there was a proper agitation happening. Now, this particular agitation, which happened the day before yesterday, it was called by the students' forum. Like the 14th was called by women all over. This was called, and they were in between, there were protests from different professions, different genders, different uh, walks of life. This one was called by the students. Yes, many people joined. And I'm not denying many of my party people had also joined, but there were no flags. They, mm. Yesterday, we there were, there were absolutely no flags. Our honorable state president had given a clear directive that everybody's free to join. Like I had also joined that. 14th night, and I had a march from school. Mm. So I had joined in without my political identity. Mm. Now, yes, certain things have turned violent, which I don't think anybody can say that somebody with a BJP flag had done that. I st I'm still telling you. No, ma'am, that doesn't matter. We ought to point anybody engaging anybody. violence. It's not acceptable. Let's not go beat around the bush. Let's be very clear about it. I'm very unambiguous about it. It doesn't matter which political party or ideology you support. Violence is wrong per se in a democracy. You're abusing your right to protest if you turn violent. But let me ask Vivek Shivastav a simple point. Vivek Shivastav, here's the thing. We have a situation today where there's a TMC government. Yeah. When there was a left in power, 
you know, we've seen how several uh, chief ministers, yeah. top leaders of the left, Buddha yeah. Bhattacharya himself coming out, criticizing Mamta Banerjee and the TMC for the use of violence inside the assembly. And these are things that are well recorded. These are all well yes. recorded uh, at right. the time when we had seen violence even inside the right. state assembly. Right. Is there a different yardstick when one comes yes. into power? Right. No, I mean, see, uh, the left protested against the government, uh, protested against TMC, protested against Mamta Banerjee. But what is the motive of the protest? The motive of the protest was, as soon as possible, get the justice to the victim. Now, yesterday, we boycotted the so-called Chhatra March, which, the, which uh, Shatrupaji is talking over. It was not a student march at all. Chhatra Samaj, which was supposed to be leading this, was, when, when they were in, the leaders were being interviewed, they clearly said, we are all from the BJP. They said it in front of the national channels when they were asked. Number two, they also roped in another Sangatan. That is Sangram Joytha Manch. That is a collection of 35 unions. They have been protesting for the last three to four years on the demand of DA, dairy allowances. So there was a big meeting in a five-star hotel and they said, like, you guys also join us up. And there were rods, there were stones, there was patharbazi. You attack the police, you break the head of an SHO, you make the constables bleed, and you instigate the police because the BJP wanted the police to fire. That is what it was, and that is why we boycotted it. Comrade Vrinda Karat came out in the media early in the morning and said that we don't support this. Because the BJP now is not protesting to give justice to the victim. It's a different game. The governor early morning comes up with a great, uh, you know, uh, uh, great samarthan of these uh, protesters. It's a right to protest. Everybody has the right for a peaceful protest. Everybody has the right for a democratic protest. You know, so, I mean, if this is what we are protesting for, that you want a president's rule in Bengal? Shatrupa. You want to uh, uh, the, take the, the quick response from Shatrupa. Duly elected chief minister. Okay. In West Bengal, our agenda is very clear. In Bangla, we keep saying this: Dafa Act, Dabi Act, Mamata Act. Which means we have only one single point agenda. We want Mamata Banerjee to resign because we, we feel she has absolutely no moral right to continue. As far as uh, what uh, Vivekji said. Uh, no, no, no. Why did you want a Manipur chief minister to resign? I'm not going to answer everybody's questions. No, no, why didn't you want the Manipur chief minister to resign? Why didn't you, why didn't you ask the prime minister to resign? When as far as the Vivek blame game you is batted? concerned. Okay, Vivek, you've asked a question. You've asked a question. Have you've asked a question. I mean, those are relevant questions, Vivek. But please had, let her respond to the questions you've asked her earlier as well. The PM had not uh, joined. That is entirely their choice. And anyway, uh, they are not very. They are not at all in the elected opposition. So it doesn't matter whether they join or not. As far as students are concerned, we are clear I remember one by one, very one by one, clearly. One by one, please. Yes. I remember very clearly, mother. There were three boys who were holding a press conference, and among them, I think one of them said, "Yes, I am an RSS activist." But this particular thing, like I told you, all of us have different identities and i'm sure all of us don't go everywhere with our political identity it's another different thing that we make it make it recognized because our face is very visible on media but students were very clear and they kept saying firstly they were they were so immature they didn't even know how to handle the press mm. i think they even offended one one uh, woman from the press all right we have limited time, time but i want to quickly end by asking a question very specifically mother just one yeah. sentence very specifically, quickly. they said, uh, with, with folded hands, ah, we are innocent, innocent no more political neta must come. If you come, leave I'm your flag you behind. Leave the now, as far as this other uh, other organization is concerned, they are agitating for like their the DA. To they are a not. legitimate organization, but okay. they joined. Okay. They have nothing to do with yes. BJP. Uh, no, but I want so it's all right. One by one, one by one, please. You know, I cannot have everyone speaking at the same time. I see many hands going up. One by one, one by one. Riju wants to come in on this. As does Vivek Shivasa. I'm going to give Vivek a quick chance to rebut that. Vivek, very quickly. Very clear. Chatrupa don't have different yardsticks for different states. The left believes Kerala may galat hoga hum khade honge. So now do not try to protect the chief minister of Manipur. You did not have president's rule there. You, the prime minister was silent for two months. The Prime Minister was silent of Bhushan Saran Singh. He was not forced to resign. Sir, the Kerala, me, Kerala me saal saal the time. Hima Commission report was sat on when it comes to women's uh, right. issues. And all governments, there, all ideologies, all parties are equally there. responsible for actually Mada. not taking enough adequate action. Mada. And I think that's clearly evident because it's because of the State Information Commission and the High Court that that report actually came of uh, abuse of actors. But let me bring in Dr. Ragnathan, would you like to respond to that? There are different yardsticks for different states. Yes, no, first of all, my good friend Vivek, uh, judging who is a student, who isn't, it's 
itself ironical judging that most of the leftists who are students are grandparents number 2 the fact of the matter is yes agreed with vivek that yesterday's march was held by sanghis by bjp one question to vivek vivek cpim held a march protest march against hatras when are you holding a protest march against this incident when auron ko blame kar rahe ho march kar rahe ho march kar rahe ho the first when? one to do it from no, the hospital to sham bazar we no, were the first didn't. to take out the preliminary report and say there are multiple injuries on the body of no. the victim it could be a gang no. rape with the first ones but we don't want to we, we did it okay. to give justice to the victim yeah. these people are doing it to change the government all right all right i would i would end i would end with one question to reju reju there's one simple letter that's been written the wcd minister anupurna devi has criticized the west bengal government for failing to implement even basic schemes such as women's helpline emergency response support system and child helpline now one would imagine that these are very basic infrastructural arrangements that are there in every state in today's day and age why is it that west bengal government has not been able to do so and that again raises the questions of commitment to women safety reju mother for the last 20 minutes i was raising my hand you went back to the bjp thrice you went back to dr ranganathan thrice you went back to everybody else and i'm raising my hand like an idiot sitting on your chair no, no, and you're, i'm no, sorry once again you come down calm down you started with the debate know, with you there are other panelists who also are part of the panel I and they sorry, i will I'm have to go through them there are two people defending one point of view and four of you defending another point of view with you mother no no once again reju reju calm down i'm coming back to you for exactly this very reason on times now and i'm not going to do your show today no no it is up to you It is up to you. If you, it is up to you to participate. There are panelists and have, uh, there are equal debates that have gone to every and time. I will, I will make sure. I will say. I will message Mr. Jain about this. This is unfair. This no, is no. Please don't threaten me on national television, Mr. Riju Datta. Everybody has had an equal say. Questions have been asked of each side, and if you have not been able to recognize that, then then I'm very sorry. It's all right. It's all right. You don't have to participate in the debate if you don't want to. It's all right. It's okay, Mr. Riju Datta. It's your it's your prerogative. I have been very fair and asked questions of all sides. If you want to leave the debate, it's your call. And there you go. The minute a question is asked, then you know shoot the messenger. Ask about uh, how how in fact uh, he has not gotten a say. Whereas if you've seen the entire debate, ladies and gentlemen, you would have seen the entire part where he got his say. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. I think this is what happens when you ask questions and. All right, we have Anirban. Anirban, would you like to take that question? Would you like to take that question on commitment to women's safety, Anirban Banerjee? Can you please repeat the specific question? Yeah, yeah. So, sure. WCD Minister Anupurna Devi has criticized the West Bengal government for failing to implement basic schemes such as women's helpline, emergency response support system, and child helpline. Can you please repeat the specific question? Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, WCD Minister Anupurna Devi has criticized the West Bengal government for failing to implement basic schemes such as women's helpline, emergency response support system, and child helpline. Can you please repeat the specific question? Yeah, yeah. So, WCD Minister Anupurna Devi has criticized the West Bengal government for failing to implement basic schemes such as women's helpline, emergency response support system, and child helpline. Can you please repeat the specific question? Yeah, yeah. So, WCD Minister Anupurna Devi has criticized the West Bengal government for failing to implement basic schemes such as women's helpline, emergency response support system, and child helpline. Can you please repeat the specific question? Yeah, yeah. So, WCD Minister Anupurna Devi has criticized the West Bengal government for failing to implement basic schemes such as women's helpline, emergency response support system, and child helpline. Can you please repeat the specific question? Yeah, yeah. So, that is a claim she will have to substantiate with enough evidence because we have seen the union government their ministers acting as mere bjp spokespersons and not as ministers where are the datas every time they put forth the datas uh, they actually cross they actually prove their own narrative wrong we have seen it regarding the fund allocation of uh, of various schemes in west bengal that there are many job holders fake job card holders etc etc whenever the data is put in the parliament we see that up is number 1 uh, bihar or some other state is number 2 all most of the bjp states are in the top 3 4 5 west bengal comes much much far later so therefore this is a claim she will have to substantiate we do, do not want mere political rhetoric the cbi will have to answer very hard specific questions they are handling the investigation right now even the union government the pmo office that actually controls the cbi must answer that exactly what the cbi is doing right now all right we'll have to leave it there we'll have to leave it there and you see very clearly what happens when questions are asked and it's all right it's all right that uh, you know people make all sorts of ridiculous complaints there's absolutely no point there's absolutely no issue with that you can threaten me you can threaten the channel you can abuse us you can go on doing whatever you want to do questions will be asked questions will be asked of all sides as we continue to do so and you have seen so in this entire show accountability is ultimately not a very easy road because there will be all sorts of such threats we've seen it multiple times and we have absolutely no issue in saying we will continue to ask those difficult questions to all those in par whether it is bengal whether it is maharashtra whether it is kerala or whether it's in new delhi it does not matter we will continue to ask those questions because end of the day when parents send their children to a medical college or to a school it does not matter 
if there are students who are being sexually assaulted at a place where there should not be a place where people should be protected and that should be a safe space, then there is an issue. And all those trying to trivialize that certainly need to be held to account across the country. On that note, I'd like to thank all our panelists for joining us. Shatrupa, Dr. Anandantan, Anir Brand Banerjee, Tehseen Poonawala, Vivek Shivastav, as well as Riju Datta, who in fact uh, made those comments. Thanks so much for joining us.